Hi all, and welcome to another unboxing video for the Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. Well, I would say box, except for this month we have a bag. Well, okay guys, this was going to be live on bagging. <laughs> can't call a box didn't come in a box but we had some attitude issues and I really did need the reading this time and yeah so we had to scrap the live unboxing but I still will share with you what this month's box has to offer and yes I am much happier with this month's box compared to last month's box for starters it is back to school themed so most of these things um it's kind of like a dying class kind of I guess uh, theme so we get our paradise fibers uh, drawstring book bag or nylon tote bag you know the string book bag things so that's our book bag we also got a oh where did I put it we also got a pencil case <laughs> which came with highlighters and we get three colors and this is for the dyeing project I didn't actually get to read how we dye with these highlighters but we did get three highlighters and our rubber gloves for our dyeing project and inside the pencil case was also our sheep sticker which this one is a apple or I would call it our teacher's pet sheepy is our dyeing supplies are in our nice little handy pencil case there is also a little chalkboard button uh, Paradise Fibers logo sheep and I actually didn't see this the first time I looked at my bag. It actually took me watching a couple other people's unboxing videos to notice that I was missing it and it was totally in the bag and I just totally missed it. It must have been in between the gloves or something but anyways. Oh and there was one more little thing that I forgot to mention. We also got a little piece of bubble gum. Of course to go with the I guess back to school theme although I guess Jeremy said that he does get to have bubble gum in his classes now but that was always a no-no when I went to school <laughs> so that's our dyeing supplies for our lunch bag <laughs> which is also I didn't open it because it's got this little sticker on it I'm not sure can you read the sticker from back there Well, it's got a little sticker on it, so I thought I'd take a picture before I opened it. But I believe he, Jeremy said that this was four ounces of Cheviot. Is that the one you said it was? I think it was Cheviot. It's it's a sheep. I assume it's just some natural colored fiber, um, sheep fiber. So I didn't bother to open it since I wanted to take a picture of it with its little uh, lunch bag sticker on it. But then inside, well, this all that stuff was inside the book bag, but then we had four more little items inside the book bag. And these are all one ounce pouches of sari silk. Now, I already have sari silk, and it didn't look like any of these were repeats of the colors that I have. So we got a blue, which I assume is the blue. We got a green which I assume is green. I have red. Uh, that was the color that I had purchased before and so I don't... We didn't... I also got hot pink. I think... Yeah, I think it was called hot pink. I don't think it was magenta. And then we've got this other one <laughs> that we're not exactly sure what color it is. It does not look like the red, but when I looked on their site, because like I said, I've purchased Sari Silk from Paradise Fibers before, we didn't, I didn't see a color that really matched this particular one, unless it's like Midnight Rainbow. Um, Jeremy said it was like a deep red, but I don't know. I, th I think it might be multicolored. Is it multicolored, possibly? I can't tell from there. Yeah, I assume there was different colors that different people could get. So, I'm not sure which one this is, but... So we got four different colors of uh, sari silk, and I never finished the project that I started <laughs> doing my sari silk with. So this will be nice because now I can potentially stretch that project out further because I have 
more sorry silk and then we got little descriptions about sorry silk and like learning about sorry silk and then uh, other little inserts about back to school and instructions on how to there was two different dye preps it said for the highlighter dyes and we actually went to Goodwill yesterday and found a really really old at least that's what my husband said he said it was an old crock pot except it had its own base and then the crock pot thing it above it and then it had a tray in the bottom of it and it went the long way instead of the tall way so I totally picked up that little crock pot for five dollars and as long as it doesn't like melt down <laughs> I plan on using that for dyeing, so well, here's hoping that I can figure out how to use that for dyeing, and I don't even know if it'll work for these highlighter projects, but I know there was something in the teaser info that mentioned dyeing, so when I saw that crock pot, I'm like, oh, this will be perfect for doing any kind of dyeing, because it's, like I said, it's the, it's like a rectangular shape instead of the upright uh, circle shape so I'm like even if I don't use it for this project for whatever they had planned it looks like it will very easily fit like a hank of yarn or something and let it lay out and so they can just soak so I thought that was a super awesome cheap buy as long as it works it heats up we just don't know if it'll stop heating up and cause a fire <laughs> But that's that's the risk we run when we buy things from Goodwill, right? <laughs> so anyways, guys, yes, this month, much happier with my Paradise Fibers. Not that I was unhappy completely with last month. It just, those wool nets were so much of the value and so unusable for me at this stage of my life. Maybe if they had, I don't know how you would do that, though. It's like, maybe if there was some way to do some kind of mini carding or blending board or something <laughs> that would have made more sense but since you can't really put that in the box and those neps were just so much of it like and if it was just a tiny amount of the neps it would have been okay but since it was so much of the these neps uh it, it just was not the box for me but yes this month much happier i can use all of this and the pencil pouch or whatever is super cute and that was actually going to be my one of my repurposing things as you all know yarn joy did her repurposing um, collaboration with other crafters and I was going to mention how you could use pencil cases as I have gotten a few that I plan to throw into the cakewalk cal prizes when they did the back to school stuff and they can work for all sorts of crafting supplies as well as hooks and things so yeah, I was happy to see that. I can use the bag. I can use everything in this at some point. So yeah, super happy. And I actually found, I never have gotten back anything from the affiliate program with Paradise Fibers. And my email says that it's in use, but I try to reset the password or log in and it won't let me do any of that. It says it'll send the email if I have an account, but it won't send the account. The, uh, email <laughs> and I can't log in with any of my normal passwords so I don't know it won't let me sign up for the affiliate thing so whatever but I did find although it took talking to actual customer representation for paradise fibers but they have uh, their paradise points program and in that has a referral link so now I do have a referral link so if you decide that you would like to have your own paradise fibers collection and from what I gather I'm not a hundred percent sure on this but from what I understand you get when you use my link a 15% off your first purchase of $25 or more and these fiber of the month club boxes are $35 so you know real easy to get your $25 and I think that you could use the 15% off coupon for your first box. I'm not 100% sure on that, so you will need to check. <laughs> but yeah, and if you do use my referral link, you will get, or I will get 500 points when you do spend that $25 on, I assume it's your first purchase. I don't know if I continue to get stuff or not, which would be nice with the affiliate program versus just the 
uh, referral link, but I have something, so we're going to be happy with that because I've already missed out on one referral because I totally sent a message to somebody on Ravelry, the Dyer of Pineapple Knits, and I sent her that I love my Pir Paradise Fiber Boxes, and she totally signed up, and I didn't know about the referral link yet, <laughs> so, oh well, I guess I miss out on that little $5 boost from them, but yeah, so anyways guys, if you sign up for this before September 10th, you do get this box, which will be, as I understand it, four one ounce pouches of Sari Silk, as well as your four ounce lunch bag <laughs> of the uh, sheep wool, I assume it's Chevy, it was something like that, your pencil bag, your highlighters, your gloves, your paradise stickers, and your uh, Paradise Fibers project bag. So I, I almost wondered, because I was trying to look something up on Instagram and I saw something about Paradise Fibers and sharing your project bags. So I kind of wondered if we were getting some kind of bag in this month's thing, but yeah. So anyways guys, super happy again with my Fiber of the Month box. This is actually better <laughs> than I was anticipating because I heard dying and I'm just like, a little nervous that it was gonna be stuff that I totally couldn't do but I can totally do all this so yeah anyways guys I need to go get littles up I they went over to their nannies for an overnight last night and so they're up I just I was trying to let them I guess kind of wake up nicely because they were grumpy when they got back from her house and they I don't think they really slept all that much since they've been back but yeah, I wanted to get this recorded for you and up since, yeah, September 10th comes by really, really fast because that's Sunday and today's Friday. So anyways, if you liked this little unboxing video, I hope you hook the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys.